Hi, what exactly is the difference between Enagic's SD501 and the K8? Well, we know the 501 has seven plates and the K8 has eight plates uh, in the ionizing chamber, which will give more uh, potent antioxidant water, hydrogen rich water. So I've always wanted to uh, measure and uh, I've had my 501 for about a year and a half. I love it. It's helped me through so many um, symptoms as well as I've never had my mind so sharp and clear and on the ball so much so, so that I wanted more and that's why I actually went to get the um, K8 for myself and this is now going to become my loaner machine so I'm so excited it's already uh, going out tomorrow uh, to friends out in Merritt so super excited so let's have a look we're going to turn on the ORP meter read that backwards it's the potential to reduce oxidation so we know that for example when you cut an apple and it starts turning brown it's rusting it's aging and that's a lot what's happening to our body it's aging we're looking for negative numbers so for example you might have heard a uh, green tea is a, a great antioxidant and the best green tea is sometimes around minus 40 or minus 50 as a antioxidant let's try congen water now negative 345 so this is the only negative number so this is an antioxidant number so if I try that again I'm just going to go back into the um, Vancouver city water so um, very clean water does not mean healthy water this is very rusting for your body again we're going to dip back into the Kongen water it's going to get to a negative number and that's what you want you want you know healthy alive food and alive water and here we are again minus 360 hi everyone all right so i've just installed my k8 super excited especially for someone like me i'm so not mechanically inclined but even i was able to install this machine in about 10 or 15 minutes and so let's see what the difference is so to start um, i'm going to collect more uh, tap water Wow, look at how hydrogen rich this water is. Look at that. Look at those bubbles of love and antioxidant right there. So let's go back to the ORP meter. Turn that thing on. Go back into the tap water, see what we get. Climbing, climbing. All right, we're getting there. I'm gonna reach that 600 and then I'm gonna drop it in this other water. Our 9.5 from the Kongen, 580. There we go, 600. So from that 600, that's Vancouver's tap water. We're going into the uh, 9.5 from the K8, immediately jump to a negative number. Wow, look at, oh my gosh, minus 600 folks, woohoo! Oh yeah, oh yeah baby. Hang on, let's try it again. Let's see if we can do that again. So here's a positive, we were at positive 600. I don't want to wait for it to climb. You saw it climb, climb, climb. All right, we can wait, we can wait. I don't have the patience. Let's just jump back into the K8. This is the one I really want to know. All right. Wow. S minus 600. Are you kidding me? Woo! <laughs> so there you have it. 9.5 water from the K8 can actually take Vancouver's oxidizing, um, very acidic water at a positive 600 and turn that into minus negative 600 antioxidant hydrogen rich water for your body.